Hello everyone! I am redoing my iOS 14 jailbreak tutorial with Uncover because a lot has happened in the past couple of days since the first initial release of Uncover last week. So, let's get into what we're talking about before we get into the tutorial. First up, if you have been keeping an eye on the Uncover Team's jailbreak uh, Twitter feed, or Ponda owns Twitter feed for specific, a lot has happened the past couple of days, so let's get into the latest bugs that have been fixed. So we know that there's been a lot of problems lately on iOS 14. So that's the first thing that I've noticed and a lot of other jailbreakers have noticed in the past couple of days. We also have a bug that caused the Uncover app to show different jailbreak settings when open the jailbreak state on iOS 14. Also, we have a libcurew plugin to enable kernel read write in support. Well, I don't know what that means. That's just a lot of stuff that's been going on. But I want to look for the uh, previous versions here. So we'll go to that. Let's go to our first version that came out last Sunday on the 28th. So, it's been crazy. We've gotten a lot of updates alone just this week. Look what we got. We have an update on Monday. An update on Wednesday. And now, just last night on Thursday, and now I'm recording this video Friday night, 8.43 p.m. New York time. I'm noticing that there's been so many updates this week. It's been incredible. The Uncover team, led by Pawn to Own, and a little bit of help on the side from everything Apple Pro. You can thank him for that. They, they're all on it. They, they've been on the case. So, the most important thing I need to bring up to you is the Alt Store. Now, why are we talking about the Alt Store? Well, the Alt Store is what we're going to be using for this tutorial. Unfortunately, this past week, FF Apple got taken down. And the reason why that happened, because Apple revoked the proxy. So unfortunately, the only way you're going to be able to jailbreak up to iOS 14.3 right now is through the old store. The good news is this is compatible both on Mac and Windows. If you're running Linux, the best thing I would recommend to do is just use CheckRain. That's all I can say on that end. But the good news is, Alt Store. And I found this out last night from iCracker iDevice, a legendary jailbreaker for a long time. He announced last night on his channel that he's one of the few people that were testing the beta for the $3 a month from the Discord link that he got. So, interesting enough, Alt Store just updated today. Literally, they just updated about, I would say, I got the notification around 6.30 tonight Eastern, right when I was uh, about to work out and make my dinner. So literally, I found out at 6.30 tonight that Old Store just updated the version 1.4.4, which I'm completely shocked. I didn't expect anything to happen. Today, out of all days today, I would have never thought this. Now, why is this so important? Well, today, the alt Damien has been fixed. We do not have a refoc. I just tried this on my iPhone 8, and I am very surprised. I was literally shocked when I found out that it was working on my iPhone 8 just now. And in fact, I'm going to reboot it as we uh, go along here. But it's working, folks. I'm not joking. I literally am testing Alt Damien right now, and the Alt Damien's working with 1.4.4. So, in this video, I'm going to have an updated guide showing you how to jailbreak on Windows. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a Mac tutorial. I will link it in the description below. It'll have the same instructions. Just make sure that you're installing Alt Store version 1.4.4 and make sure that you're installing the latest IPA of Uncover, which is 6.1.0. So without further ado, let's get started. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so first things first, if you want to jailbreak iOS 14, this is what you need to know right now. Here are the current devices that support iOS 14 and iPad OS 14. I know this isn't an updated list, but the iPhone 12 Max is the highest iPhone that you can jailbreak right now from 14.0 to 14.3. We also know that the lowest iPhone you can go to is the first gen iPhone SE from 2016. Surprisingly, that phone's five years old and it's still getting updates. Uh, I wouldn't expect that when iOS 15 comes out later this year, but we'll have to see in three months when WWDC happens, of course. Um, iPad Touch 7th gen, that is also supported. Also, Lowest device that runs iOS 14 right now in terms of iPad is the iPad Air 2. So, if you have an A7 through an A11 device, so lowest iPhone would be the iPhone SE 2016 mile model, of course. Highest would be the iPhone 10 um, iPod Touch 7th Gen. Believe it or not, actually has the A10 GIP set. I did my research, so um, if you're stuck on iOS 14.4, um, the good news is you can still use check rain for that. I know it's tethered, but you can still jailbreak if you didn't keep your device on iOS 14.3. Now, in terms of iPads, the lowest A7 device that we know is supported right now is the iPad Air 2. And for an A11 device, highest would be iPad 6th gen. Thankfully, I have an iPad 5th gen, so that really doesn't matter. But, hey, you know, we're just trying to do an uncover, untethered tutorial. In fact, as we're speaking right now, uh, all Damien's working. I just booted up my iPhone for the second time as we're uh, speaking, and it's working very fine, folks. So we'll get to that as we go along in this video but I'm, I'm not i'm not kidding it's still really working as we go along here now here's the catch if you're on windows you must have windows 10 if you don't have windows 10 i can't help you out there if you have a mac you must have mac version 10.14.4 again i know somebody who has a mac link um, if you want to follow the Mac tutorial, I will put that link in the description below from another YouTuber. Because again, I don't have a Mac, so I can't really help you out on that situation. I'm only helping out my fellow Windows 10 users. So, you're going to download the file, run the installation process. So now what we're going to do is open up the alt server. So, it doesn't show up on your home screen. No problem, just go on your Windows side. I'll look for it right now. Look for the alt server. And there it is right there on the right side of my screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. Install the alt store. Now, I will mention this right now. Like me, if you already have alt store installed, you can check for updates. So if you are running 1.4.3, I would recommend if you're on a Windows to install it reboot your computer, and then run the all store that way. So here we go. Go to my iPad. Now, if this pops up, don't worry. This is completely fine. We're going to hit OK. This normally doesn't take that long. This is a very quick process. I've normally done this in the past. All right, there we go. The alt store has been successfully installed on my iPad. So now we're going to go direct to my iPad and we'll finish the tutorial from there. So now we're on my iPad 5th gen. So we're going to look for my jailbreak stuff over here. So we're going to now go to the alt store. So alt store is going to open up. Now, more importantly, I don't know why this is here, but it's probably telling me to sign in. So I'll sign in right now unless it tells me I didn't have to. Okay, good. We don't have to sign in. That's very good news. So let's make sure we're on 1.4.4. Okay, we are on 1.4.4. So 
So now we're going to hit the plus button. Good news is, I have it on my documents app. You can download through Safari. That won't be a problem. So I already have Uncover sign loaded on my iPad. That really doesn't matter. But for this step, if you're doing it for the first time, or in general, I would say, make sure that your alt server is running on the Windows 10 machine. Otherwise, you're going to have very bad luck and it's going to be very unsuccessful. Okay, there we go. Uncover has been added right now. So I'll prove to you that we are running version 6.1.0. So let's open it up. Already jailbroken. Now, for this experiment, um, what I'm going to do right now is look for a Cydia tweak that I just installed a while ago. So we're going to look for power selector first. Recommend if you are trying to test this out. This is a good city of tweak that I would highly, highly recommend. So look for power selector. So it is in the Big Boss repo for free. Hit the install button. Not a big file. Then I'm going to show you the next city of tweak that you need to install. So let's just restart our springboard first. Respringing our start, respringing our start board doesn't really take that long. Yeah. So put the iPad flat again. Perfect. Okay. Now, for whatever reason, I don't know why this is happening, but uh, maybe it's because it just wants me to get rid of the notification. Did I get rid of the notification? Okay, good. Excellent. Okay. So, besides power selector, another city of tweak that you're going to absolutely need with the All Store version 1.4.4. I want you to type in this repo right here. Can't iPhone 8 camera can properly focus, please. There we go. So I will have this repo in the description below. I really want you all to make sure you have this. So it's repo.dynastic.co. Tap on it. Now go to all packages. First thing you're going to look for is Alt Damien. All right, you're going to look for Alt Damien. So now what we're going to do is test our power selector. So again, I don't know why power selector is being so buggy. Really wish the iPad could adapt easily, but I guess not. Okay, so we are now going to hit the reboot button. Let's make sure that our server is off to make sure that this is legitimate. So we're going to hit close. I'm going to unplug the iPad for a safe precaution. Don't want anything bad happening to my USB and the computer. So we're now going to hit reboot, going to hit the reboot button. And I really recommend when you first jailbreak, make sure you have power selector for a reason. If you're using Uncover, you need to have the city it's weak because uh, if you don't, that's really going to be rough all the time. Oh, I have to hold my power down button. Trust me, it really gets annoying. I, I understand. So... We're going to wait for my iPad to reboot. Shouldn't take that long. Hopefully we'll use my finger I lock. Ooh, right, this is the first time set up, so I have to come back to it. Now, this is the ultimate test. We're going to go to Uncover. And we're going to open it up. And there we go. Uncover has worked. This is a fully untethered jailbreak, folks. This is the only working method right now until Apple can get their act together with the FF Apple. I'm hoping they can re-sign it in the future, but this is the best method we have right now. And trust me, I was completely thrilled when I found out last night that Old Store was in a new beta supporting iOS 14 because 1.4.3, the latest version, was only supporting up to iOS 13.0. I think, which was the last public release of iOS 13 before we went to iOS 14 in September of last year. So, let it do its thing. This doesn't really happen that often, but uh, my iPhone 8, I noticed that uh, this works a whole lot faster than my uh, iPad is right now, unless it depends device by device.
All right, there we go. Just finished jailbreaking. Sorry for the camera being a little bit all buggy. So now you're going to hit the OK button. And Cydia will be working. So that's how we will wrap up this video. And I'm very glad that I am updating my tutorial for you guys. Because I don't want you guys falling out of the loop. And I really want to give special thanks to iCracker iDevice once again for giving us the great news last night that... um. The new version of Alt Store was currently in beta. Now we're going to open up Cydia once we reboot. So now Cydia should be opening up. Doesn't really take that long depending on your internet speed. So there you have it. This is iOS 14.3. I am just so thrilled that, again... Old store has been fixed and I am definitely glad that they got it done on their end. So hopefully you found this tutorial very easy to use. And I'm hoping that maybe I can do more videos on some city tweaks that I recommend uh, messing around with. Really would um, like to help you guys out on that. So I really don't do City of Tweak videos, but there is some stuff that I might find uh, useful on my personal end. So I'm going to do some research. I know I have a couple City of Tweaks that I'm already using as we speak. So with that being all said, thank you all very much for watching. And until the next one, please take care.